Welcome back my dear scrappy friends. I have another 12 by 12 layout for you and this time around I will be scrapping my darling little girl who has fallen asleep on a high chair. The papers I will be using are both from Bow Bunny and they're both from the Cottontail collection and you can get these from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft and I will leave, leave a link in the description box below. Now I went to my silhouette machine and I got this lovely cut file. It's from Paper Issues and it is called Stitching Heart Bursts for anyone interested. And I did off camera stitch all those lovely, I did a chain stitch. It, it took a long time but it was really worth it. I love the end result. And I'm just going to back it on this second piece of paper from Bow Bunny. And because I don't want to, I don't like wasting paper, I'm just going to trim it to size as I back it. The reason why I chose blue, originally I was going to go with pink, but blue actually made everything pop more and it actually went with the colours in the photo because she's wearing that blue jumper. This is actually going to be a very quick video. The longest part of this layout was doing all that hand stitching and I absolutely love it. It was worth the time and while I was doing the stitching, I was actually catching up on my favourite show at the moment on Netflix, which is Lucifer. Let me know if anyone else is watching this amazing show. I absolutely am addicted. So all I'm doing here is I found this gorgeous paper in my stash that I've been wanting to use for a while. It's from Fab Scraps and it's called Fascination. And I actually just cut into it. All I want from this paper is those gorgeous roses. I thought the colours went beautifully with the Bow Bunny collection. So it's a bit of fussy cutting and... There they all are. I did spend quite a bit of time trying to arrange these flowers in the end result that you see here. Um, I didn't put that all on all on video because it just would have been very boring. But once I got the, the orientation right and I was happy with it, I'm just using a little bit of glue so that I have it all as one great big embellishment. And that way I won't lose the actual placement that took me so long to get. Sometimes things look easy on video and... You know, it's, it takes us a long time to get to that end result. Other times it just falls into place easily. You know, it's just luck of the draw, really. But this layout, even though the video is going to be short, um, it did take a long time. But as I've mentioned, it's mainly due to all that stitching. The title is going to be pretty simple, Sweet Baby Girl. And I'm going to be using these stickers that I got from Audi. They were the absolutely bright colour for this layout. So I'm glad I got them. I am now going to be adding some sequins to my love heart. These sequins are from Little Birdie and they're just called uh, Sparkling Dotty. So, it, you know, the love heart was looking a bit plain for my liking and I thought, how am I going to jazz it up a bit? And then I went through my stash and I found these lovely uh, sequins and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to bore you with it. I'm going to cut to the end because, you know, it's pretty boring watching someone add sequins to a love heart. I loved the sequins on the heart so much that instead of adding the splatters that I was going to originally do in my head, I decided that I was going to add random sequins all over the layer. And I just actually love this added sparkle and dimension that this added. So really happy with the end result. I always like to add a frame to my layout so this time around I'm using some Distress Oxide and it's a gorgeous colour. It's called Victorian Velvet and absolutely perfect colour for this. I'm going to have to use this colour a lot more. I love it. So this is the end result. I hope you like it. Yes, it's a nice and short, sweet video. But till next time, I hope to see you all again very soon with my next layout, whatever it may be. Here are some of the close-up shots. And um, if you haven't already done so and you like what I do, please subscribe. I am trying to grow this channel. And as always, remember to, to like not just my work but everybody else's because it really does help us, us YouTubers. Thank you. Bye.